Mm, I don't think you realize how the legends start, mate. I'm so glad there's no fall damage in the skyhold. Especially when it teleports you such such ways. I trust all is well. You like your advice? Do you have any advice for me? Now that the Grey Warden threat is dealt with, we must investigate the assassination plot. One can only hope it's not too late. More chaos in Ole only helps Corypheus. Okay, bye. That's enough for now. Another time, then. Damn, you guys are making me wish I took other people. Um. Oh, jeez. Cram. Commander Cullen did good work at Adamant. Preached those walls like he'd done it a dozen times. Nice job with the demons, by the way. Uh, how can we use you? Can you think of any other tasks suitable for the judges? You sealed the main rift at Adamant, but the fortress is still a mess. Demons, dark spawn. Like a nose what? I could take Rocky out there with some of the boys. They know how to bring down walls. We can't close rifts, but we can bury the bastards under a ton of rubble. Okay. We'll talk later. See? More things. Ah! Iron Bull. Again. Again. Uh, 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 come on. This Mr. is Cassandra's. why the tune doesn't like women fighting. I should have asked Cullen. You knew what you were doing. Perhaps you can take over. Grunari training exercise to master your fear. I heard about the nightmare at Adamant. Sounded big. What is this exercise? Can you explain why I'm supposed to hit you with this stick? Probably, if I try. It did involve a lot of Kunari words, though. Just hit me with the stick, all right? I need to get over this demon crap. Look, I know you probably want me to hit at you, but let's talk this through. You're scared of yep. demons. Of course I'm scared of demons. Who in their right mind isn't? I mean, not like whole. Real demons. Big ones with fangs and crap. You're not gonna hit me, are you? What makes this stick special? Is the stick covered in anti-demon charms or something? Be nice if it was. For the Kunari, demons are the scariest thing out there. More so than dragons. Even mages. Possession. Losing your mind. That's the worst thing that can happen to you. I don't understand that. It does seem terrifying. You think I'd have gotten over the superstitions from back home. I don't care about mages. Living so long out here, most Gunari would say I've already lost my mind. And I know that's not true. At least, I'm pretty sure that's... Well, shit, that's probably what it is. You could have just hit me. Probably. But hey. Talking's good. Boop, boop. Also, I was hoping you would give me a second chance to try and hit you. Pleasure as always, boss. Okay, bye. See you later, Bo. Nice talking with you, boss. I wonder what happens if I did just hit him, if I could get a chance... To, uh, do, do, do. to come and have a talk with him afterwards in like this form instead of having a talk with him in the cutscene. Um, I don't know how far back this took me. If not, that's not the biggest deal. Ooh, we're getting. Commander Cullen did good work at Yeah. Nice job with the demons, by the way. How can we use you? We can't close rifts, but we can bury the bastards under a ton of rubble. Okay, bye. We'll talk later. Okay, let's try, uh, see what happens if I hit you. Do -do. training exercise to master your fear. What is this exercise? I heard about... Just hit okay. me with the stick, alright? I need to get over this demon crap. Okay, I'm hitting you. All right. There we go. Oh, yeah. 
Damn demon! Who's stuck in the feed, huh? This helps you? So we're working out your fear with a stick. Less talking, more hitting. Piece of feed, piece of crap! And who killed you? That's right! Iron fucking ball! <sighs> oh, oh, I needed that. <sighs> Thanks, boss. <sighs> you feeling better? And that works for you. <sighs> yep. <sighs> All right then. Although, bro, I'm pretty sure Cassandra can hit harder than me. I mean, she's the warrior. I'm just an archer. So I have I have muscles, but it's not gonna be the same kind of muscles she has. Right. That's Let's be honest about that. Man, those serving girls are frisky. Okay. Nice talking with you, boss. Ash, you frisky, or you just pretend they're frisky? Uh, Sarah. Nope, not that way. I don't know why that Wait, wall's there. Does anyone remember? Why was it not the first mm. in She wears the mantle proudly. Is that what you call it? I heard that transition was vicious, bloody. No, not bloody. Think of the carpets. If you say so. Okay. Just Need to I actually want. stay in those in case of it's course. like a cold did weird things again. There you go. Sarah. Oh. She was not expecting a cutscene with you. Heard what went on in that fade thing. What you think went on. Can't even start to believe that business. All the people I'm getting cutscenes with. I didn't get a cutscene with Cole? Uh, with Cole. With Solus? I almost said Colas. Um. Uh, heard what went on in the fade thing. What you think went on. Can't even start to believe that business. Uh, difficult time for everyone. I think a lot of people are having trouble with what went on there. People going on about visions and piss when real people are gone. Dead, probably. Alistair, yeah? There's hearts breaking somewhere. And in trade, a busted down bunch of wardens. And they're always weird. Usually, bad stuff happens first, so you're glad when the hero shows up. But wardens are the wrong way round. They're the good thing that means a bad thing is about to happen. Like in Denerith, when the blight ended. What do you remember? A lot happened in Denerim. What did you see? People talked a lot about this one warden. There was a big fight and they died, or I don't know, maybe they didn't. The hero of Ferelden. You forget the hero of Ferelden. That was ages ago. Ten years. <laughs> I was playing with small painted boxes and burying stuff I stole. I remember more people cringing about magic than blight. Wardens were an excuse for your stuff to go missing. Blackwall's nice, though. Different from the adamant ones. Need more like him. Hmm. Sarah? Oh! You have a problem. That over there is a full tavern. But everyone's drinking alone. They're all up their own asses about the Inquisition. I can't have fun with everybody whinging. And they'll fall on their swords before Corypheus can push them. I'm thinking pranks. Set a few up. Knock a few down. You win or not. I want them at their best. You have an odd idea of preparation. I need to keep them at their best. What's best then, Mopey? Constantly ready for death to fall from the gaping hole up there. <laughs> I know people. Pissed off and fired up is better than dreary bleary. Come on. Uh. Yeah, sure, man. Lead the way. Mainly because well, I didn't really? get this cutscene the first time. Really. <laughs> I knew you were different. Let's go. Right, General Uptight is gone. Have a search about. Find something to mess with and give your soldiers a laugh. Boop. What, the desk? Oh, yes. Center of the Empire and all that. What to do? What to do? <laughs> Great, so what do we do then? Guys, get better writing. All right, Sarah. What do you want to do? Thing looks heavy. Don't want to move or break it. I got it. Easy one. 
Just a slip of something under here. There, won't notice much, but it's just that little bit wonky. He's so in control that'll piss him royally. I tell one of the soldiers and boom, the general seems like people. And since he works for you, you seem like people. Come on, next one. She's like the very bad version of HR. <laughs> Right, little lady prissy pants. Have a look for something she likes too much. What, just the door? Where she greets every important idiot. Yes. All right, what do we do? Well, Sarah, what do you have in mind? Um, <laughs> get a bucket. Classic, yeah? Five minutes of sloppy boss gets you weeks of happy kitchen staff. Except for the one who cleans it up, I suppose. But whatever. Next stop. Nothing to say? What's that? A locked... No, leave that. Not interested in her hidden things. Not for just a bit of fun. Maybe feed her messengers something gassy? And no, bears don't pop. But they flap and... Uh... Hmm. Who is up there? Run. Go! <laughs> I mean, if it said just the Inquisitor... That was fun! And That's Inquisitor different, but we're adding people, Sarah in that. Still remembering you're one of them. If all they got was the Herald stuff, the serious bit, you'd start to sound pretty scary. That works, but not for long. This is like just another part of the spectrum of what Iron Bull did, where he had you sit with the people and just drink with them without saying anything. Um, anything to keep us inspired? Whatever it takes. I'd start throwing pies if it kept people inspired. Pies is so good! And Carifinus would never do that. Good thing for you, innit? Because from the bottom, everyone up top sort of seems the same. Anyway, fun time, Inquisitor. You! Ulfric. You did it! <laughs> that, uh, people keep just vanishing and appearing. Okay, well we got two Sarah cutscenes. More than I normally get with her. I know you. Oh, Inquisitor, I, um, I joined. Sutherland, your worship. I saw some bandits, so I came to warn people. I'll let your warriors know and then stay out of the way. Um, okay. I hope I can help somehow. Maybe cleaning. Otherwise, I should start clicking you named folks, because apparently I get, uh, war table stuff. Um, Sarah? Sarah, where did you go? That's not concerning. Not in the slightest. Oh, oh wait, what am I doing? Why did I jump down? I need to go talk to you. Oh, there you are. Love seeing you, yeah? Um. Uh, okay. Carry on. I'll be back if I need you. Go on. So you literally ran away. <laughs> um. Okay. Do do. Ooh. My lights just flickered. Uh, cool. It's funny because the weather's actually not as bad. Not as bad no. now as it was earlier. But you like demons! I enjoy the company of spirits, yes, which is part of why I do not abuse them with bindings. It isn't abuse if I ask. Not always true. Also, I do not practice blood magic, which renders this entire conversation academic. <laughs> he won't bind me. He's a mage and he likes demons, but he won't help. What's wrong? Why would you want Solus to bind you? So I'm safe. 
If Solus won't do the ritual to bind me, someone else could. Will. Like the Warden Mages. And then... I'm not me anymore. Walls around what I want. Blocking, bleeding, making me a monster. That's true for everyone. A mage using blood magic could conceivably do that to any one of us, human or demon. You should ask Solus to bind you too. And then someone can bind him. Uh, we'll figure something out. There has to be some middle ground between do nothing and bind Cole with blood magic. Indeed. I recall stories of amulets used by Ravani seers to protect spirits they summon from rival mages. A spirit, wearing an amulet of the unbound, was immune to blood magic and binding. It should protect Cole as well. The resources of the Inquisition could be used to find such a talisman. Good. No, there they was other discussion options. Me. No, game! Don't give me multiple conversation options and then take it away from me. Mora. Thank you. Did you do? At least, uh, yeah, investigation conversation. That's. We were set to lose how many? And the charges blew through and saved the lot. I know. That wasn't a battle, it was a brawl. Could be better. Still wouldn't trust them <laughs> with a coin, but I'll take their help over dying against a wall. Don't let them hear you say it. Uh, okay. I think you guys are done. Cool. It started out helping, taking the fear away. I won't take too much. I am not that. Uh, okay. I don't think I've heard anything I'll new from you later. Probably. Yep. I like how it's changed from how do you know to probably. It's like, yeah, you're always up here, mate. You just don't like me be. That sounded like a dragon. Probably was just the wind. Um. Who are you? Inquisitor, if you're looking for the commander, he's gone to speak with Seeker Pentagast. Okay. Guess I'm going over here. Do, 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 do. Sandra? Were you there? Did you see what they did? Sprayed across the throat. Like it was nothing. Shit. What goes on in their heads? Blight. Blight goes on. Never forget that. Do do. Sandra! Greetings. Okay. That's enough for now. Another time, then. Uh, I think I remember where this cutscene was activated. Yep. You asked for my opinion, and I've given it. Why would you expect it to change? I expect you to keep your word. It's relentless. I can't... You give yourself too little credit. If I'm unable to fulfill what vows I kept, then nothing good has come of this. Would you rather save face than admit... We will speak of this later. And people say I'm stubborn. This is ridiculous. Cullen told you that he's no longer taking Lyrium? I think it's brave. Yes, and I respect his decision. As do I. Not that he's willing to listen. Cullen has asked that I recommend a replacement for him. I refused. It's not necessary. Besides, it would destroy him. He's come so far. Why didn't he tell me? Why didn't he come to me? We had an agreement long before you joined us. As a seeker, I could evaluate the dangers. Uh, can we change his mind? Is there anything we can do to change his mind? If anyone could, it's you. Mages have made their suffering known, but Templars never have. They are bound to the Order, mind and soul, with someone always holding their Lyrium leash. Cullen has a chance to break that leash, to prove to himself, and anyone who would follow suit, that it's possible. He can do this. I knew that when we met in Kirkwall. 
Talk to him. Decide if now is the time. 